I'll go through in a minute. I'm literally on fire. This is really bad. You wouldn't think, oh, this is be really fun. There's about 20 pounds of pressure on this little button right here. I ain't lying. <laughs> on the floor and I have to scrape it too because the paint is coming off so I'm gonna get some new paint here it's a resurfacer concrete paint and this is just coming off in chips so I just have to make sure that I get most of the really loose stuff and just wash this down because everything is dirty filthy like really dirty like look Filthy. Hasn't been clean in over a year. A better than I expected. There was a lot. Alright, a lot of this is peeling off, but you can tell, okay, they had a really nice brown color. I would have liked that if this was all brown. That would be really, really nice because you can see you got like a brown color right there. Um, so they had brown and they somewhere put dark, dark green on it. And that, I'm pretty sure that was shocking. And then they had this turquoise, which she also painted in the hallway. The woman who used to own this house. So she painted this in the hallway and that was probably cute. Um, but then they painted it this green color. And I'm not actually sure why they painted it this green color. Maybe they thought it looked like, um grass or something but this is one of my colors that I absolutely hate and it's not really even picking up the color of what it actually is it's really the worst color green that you could paint something <laughs> so um, I'm just going around because wherever I see that it's like starting a chip I'm just like chipping around it just to make sure that it ain't gonna peel up this is just with a little wetness on it because I've already washed the floor and I got Raphael's over there cleaning that part and we're painting we're painting all the floor today so and making sure all the paint is scraped up that's gonna yada and I'm watching TV quarters of course okay so here's my outdoor table and I don't recommend ever buying a metal table for outdoor because it's really dumb it has a firebox around the hole, you know, it makes fire, it's really cute. And that's where it collected a lot of the water, but you know, a lot of these spots, yeah. So he's gonna help me. I've already washed this yesterday with uh, CLR, which is very toxic, so you gotta be careful with that. But basically, Raphael, you are just gonna wipe it off where there is nothing on it, you know what I mean? So you don't have to like rub it, you just like, wipe it off because it's got a bunch of stuff on it from the trees so i bought two things of this and i probably don't even need it but that's the color i don't know if it's going to match the table probably not because it's a sandy color and this is more of a gray but i'm not doing the legs i'm just doing the top and this is a primer fast drying at any angle I outtook code. But this, I've had this for like two years, and the actual can has rusted. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna spray this down pretty good, let it dry just a little bit, and then bring it back inside before it rains, because it is about to rain. <clears throat> Saves us on buying decals and stickers. I made 
make this sprayer that you can attach to this to make it like a nice little gun. And I think it's like five dollars and it'd probably be a good good option. This is still the best option to do quick spurts. I'm doing the long spurt. Just wasting product, not getting a good coverage. Getting splotchy. Oh, I'm tired. I'm not a furniture refinisher, that's for sure. Definitely recommend that gun, even if you're going to use this just one time. Don't get lazy now. I know. I see you. <sighs> It hurts! It hurts us! You can definitely tell the difference. Yeah, you can. Okay. I'll go through in a minute. I'm literally on fire. This is really bad. You wouldn't think, oh, this is be really fun. There's about 20 pounds of pressure on this little button right here. I ain't lying. It did go longer than I thought it would. There, it's... A little more than half full right now, so let me get it real good this time. Mm, right here. Yeah. <sighs> hey, is that stuff gonna settle on there? Uh, shouldn't. But since it's got slats in it, you gotta spray it from both angles to make sure you got the edge of one and the edge of the other, you know? So I gotta go back over there and make sure I get all the holes. Don't need to cover it completely. up in there and then then this uh, top part will be done actually I bought some paint for it but I don't even know if I'm going to use it because I think this is a good enough surface so I might even just keep it like this and put some clear coat on it I have a spray of clear coat to finish it off so it doesn't come off Add in texture, aren't we? Pat glued to my finger now. Okay, well, now I've got splattering, I gotta wipe it out. All right, so as a part of our anniversary, Andrea asked for this uh, patio to be more accessible to sit down at. 
there's a lot of bugs. Every time we come out here, she talks about how much bugs there are. So we're trying to get everything in order to have less bugs and hopefully be able to film here too a little more and sit down to eat and all the good stuff. Now on a day like this where it already rained and it's super wet and ugh, cruddy, I don't think we'll be able to do it. But uh, I did say I will work on it. So got my trusty letter. And as you guys can tell, I don't know what those are called, uh, their professional name, but I took those off, right? So Andrea had already cleaned this off earlier, but I have to clean up all the way to the top. Very dirty. Uh, we just painted this like, you know, a few years ago. Um, and this is where the um, those panels are. I'll show you in a second. I don't know what they're called. Trussels? I've... Anyway, uh, I'm going to paint this a little more black right here. And I'm going to paint all this white portion. This entire thing. So if you come out here, this whole thing is going to be black, basically. And so I took these two, and I took the next two over as well. And you can tell a lot of the bugs uh, liked to be right behind that. So, uh, you know, <laughs> now they won't have a place to be. And it's going to be awkward for us to live with them out in the wild on the open here. We will need to get, get, remove those bugs. That's just, you can't live with hornets like that. They actually do bite. The sting bite, I don't know. I got, got the treatment from them. So this is what it looks like now. It's very bad. Um, it's got to be painted. Got to repaint the white repaint that and clean this. Basically it's a lot of cleaning. Okay, and these are the panels that I took off. Okay. They are two different sets, which is weird, right? You think they have four identical windows, but it's two different sets. And you can tell this is very dirty. I don't know how many years it's been here. And these are the cleaner ones too. Wait till you see the other ones. Now these are the ones where all the bugs were hiding at and a lot of hornet's nests came off of here. This is actually us taking it off. There's just a bunch of bad stuff. Ain't that right? That's right. Now I waited to show you the really good one, <laughs> but here it is. That is the absolute worst. And we can feel it, man. When you come out here, it's, it's, it's tough because they will actually just bite you. But this is terrible, right? Like if you live in a climate like this where it's very sunny but wet, I guess that's really good for them. They just love it and we hate it. So I wouldn't recommend getting these even if they look nice. Just try to do something else to, to look nice instead of it. It's an easy solution, right? But you don't want all those all the mosquitoes and hornets and everything to come at you. So my project today is going to be that. I have to paint that. I already cleaned some of it. I had to vacuum it out. It's a lot of stuff in there. Vacuum it out, wet rag it with the solution, and then paint over it. Probably two coats over that white. I don't think I'll do all the white, the entire wall. Not now, anyway. But I'll for sure get Andrea one of that hornet block. So that's my job. And I'm gonna have to swat all those hornets or get them out of here. They're good for the ecosystem, how, how the, the food chain works here. It's good, but they just don't belong on this porch, unfortunately. There are spiders too and everything. See if I can catch that. All right, so with all this preparation, this room changing, us taking things down and putting things up, Andrea really wanted to do the floor as well. I think I talked about that, but that was a while back. So Andrea started doing the floor in that color. So that's the old, that's the new. And basically scraped a lot of paint off the floor, a lot of space to cover. But we'll get it done, no problem. I'm not used to painting with this. I really just like painting, but um, this paint is very new to me anyway. So I have to get used to it on top of not liking to do that anyway. So it's taking a lot of effort to do it all the way. Do it properly all the way. Okay, so I just wanted to show how thick this paint actually is. It is extremely thick. Andrea just painted this this morning, so you can tell the color changes between that old one and the new one. And this is like three hours ago and it's still not even close to drying. And I know it has to cure time and has to do with temperature and humidity, but it's just so thick. Like look what it does to the brush. All the bristles come off of the brush. And I know this, this isn't mine. This is Andrea's, I think, from a couple days ago. But 
the thickness of this all is just crazy. I mean, I guess this is fresh. I was wrong. The other paintbrush is the one from a couple days ago. It just will ruin your paintbrush. I, and I did wash that one that I used and had to use it again. I was able to use it again, but it really does just ruin it. And I wanted to show how, um, remember when I painted black and took the windows off, so I had to paint, you know, I had to paint that uh, ugly color back to white. And I told Andrea, we will need to paint the wall. And she, you know, she tried to actually give me a break on that and said, nah, you probably won't need to paint it. But with our really good lighting out here, you guys can clearly tell that I need to paint it. So I painted that side and this side of the window. I painted this and that, so all I have left really is the center. And that's not a big deal, I'll get it done in here in an hour. Uh, I do go over it with a very small brush. I'm not a painter, and I really dislike painting, but I do like to do a good job and thorough. So I'm going to do one coat, and it's going to be fresh white like that. Look how weathered that got. I mean, that's for... Uh, for how long? Three years it's been since I painted, I think. About three years, we painted the bottom and the top. And now look at it. <laughs> Just actually weathered down. Became yellow, disgusting with all of the bugs. And this is after I washed it too. So, this is completely washed. With a rag. But yeah, let me get to it. Let me use some white paint. So I have a bunch of stuff to clean out. Most of these are just empty boxes. And I got my tools here. I only brought stuff outside. I had our painted that wall black. We're going to hang some curtains up right there and hang a shelf up right here. So I also have this basket too. And it's got stuff from everywhere, literally. So I just need to go through it. Paint and stuff, all kinds of stuff. This has to go back into the house. Doesn't belong out here. I have extra baskets here. Um, I've got a light set that goes with a project that I wanna do. This is like my project basket. I've got a bunch of projects right there. <laughs> We're going to put some of the kids' stuff out here, too. The toys and stuff. They're going to like that. This goes to something that's in the house. A light. It's a hanger for a light. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Some anti-bug stuff. For your skin when you're outside. I got some samples for a couch, but decided to do something else instead. Instead of getting a couch, I'm just going to recover our couch. Okay, so I took this straw, that straw set that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I cut the end of it off because it's got some kind of like extra material. So I cut the end of it off and it fit perfectly on the fountain that I got. This is going to be really pretty. And now I'm going to cut the other end off and I'm going to put it on this pump that I got. And then I'm going to put it in this bowl and have a fountain. So pretty. Okay, it fit on there. Hopefully this won't rot and deteriorate. You know how some silicone can get. But I think it'll be great. This one's got an airflow. I had two of them. One from uh, something else. But yeah, I think this is going to work good. Try it. All right. I could ask, what's this thing going to do? Abigail, you're going to film it, okay? Okay. Because I have to hold it up. I need some kind of wire to go across it to hold it up, but we're just going to see if it works, right? Now let's see if it works. Let's do this one, 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 and a quick explanation. Oh, never mind. Huh? It really works? It really works? It really works now? It really works now? Pretty, huh? Beautiful. All right, so I gotta get some kind of like sticks. I know what I can use. Let me get it. How about a little table? What no, Abigail. What you doing? Go in where the... You aren't subscribed yet? Please subscribe and like. Comment and share, fully living. I can cook.
cook bacon. It's enjoying life right now. Yeah, because from time to time, they go into the sea. Stencils. Tattoos on my fur too. 